I know we all like to think we're special, but like the conditions on earth aren't really that special. Let's say you go to the beach, right? You go down and you pick up a little grain of sand. You're like, oh, that's, are there as many stars as grains of sand, Dylan? No, there are 10,000 stars for every grain of sand on earth. 10,000! If a civilization is so far ahead of us, they're just like, oh, those are ants on earth. It's literally not worth our time to even deal with them. Now there are a couple options, right? One option, hey, uh, fuck, what is the option? Um, <laughs> there are no aliens, dude. <laughs> Welcome back to the Smart Nonsense Podcast, where we do not talk about entrepreneurship, mm. self-development, or challenging mm -hmm. norms directly, maybe indirectly. We're changing it up. We're reinventing it. This is the show that explains it to you like you're five. I want to teach you about aliens, dude. Mm -hmm. You want to learn about aliens? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> Block. here's the thing. Start the story by blocking. <laughs> Dude, and for, you, it's for, like for, a football <laughs> team. You need the blockers up front, and then you can just get the running back and go right through the middle. Um, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> wait, wait, all right. So, you see that? You see that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you see all the stars? Those Tons are a lot of stars. Of that right there, that's not even <laughs> like a, a fraction of the Milky Way. That's just a little pinprick on the Milky Way, what you're seeing. Yeah. So you're like, oh. Uh, Milky Way. Are there a lot of Milky Ways? It's like, yeah, as many stars are, as are in the Milky Way, there are galaxies in the universe. When I look up at the stars in Chicago, I see like five. That's no good. But okay. if you're somewhere where there's no light pollution, you can see thousands of stars. Right. Turns out you're only seeing like a sliver of what's possible. Never mind you what's on the other side of the earth. You're only seeing like half the sky. And then it's like, well, we're only in one galaxy. The Milky Way. Are there other galaxies? It's not even, it's dude, it's like the amount of sky we see is like absolutely nothing. Like all yeah. those stars, they're like, I think at most like a thousand light years away, which is like literally 1% of the Milky Way across. So basically we're seeing nothing of the Milky Way. And guess what? There are a, 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 as many Milky Ways as stars in the Milky <laughs> hey, let me put it another way, dude. Let, big numbers. We're dealing with big numbers, right? Because I say like 400 billion stars. What the fuck does that mean? Uh, let's say you go to the beach, right? You, you go down and you pick up a little grain of sand. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. One tiny little grain of sand. Right. Like a pin. Uh, and now, now multiply that by all the grains of sand uh, on the entire earth. All Tons. the grains of sand. Uh, huge amounts that's, of sand. That, that, that's a lot of sand, right? You're like, oh, that's, are there as many stars as grains of sand, Dylan? No. No, there, there are 10,000 stars for every grain of sand on Earth. 10,000. 10,000. 10,000 times as many that's stars per grain of sand. That's a lot of stars. And they're like, hey, um, I know we all like to think we're special, but like the conditions on Earth aren't really that special. So like a, a decent guess is 1% of stars have their own earth. It's like, oh, wow. So for every grain of sand, there are a hundred earths. It's like, I, I'm not good at numbers, but that's a fuckload of earths. It's like, it's okay. more than one earth. We have, yeah, we have a lot of them. And now it's like, well, earth's not even that old. Like universe is like 13 billion <laughs> years old. Uh, earth's only like four and change. So it's like, okay, we could have earths that are 8 billion years old. Or, or even imagine an Earth that's like 1,000 years older than us. You can't even imagine like what our civilization would be like in 1,000 years. So it's like, why the fuck? Where are all the aliens on all these other Earths that uh, should be just bouncing around the universe because they're so, uh, I don't know, so far, so evolved. They're so advanced. Like imagine um, uh, there's this thing. What are those four stages of um, like energy capture? Uh, yeah, one is like getting all the energy of earth. One is getting all the energy of the solar system. So we're barely at like 70. Well, it's earth and then your star. Right. So it's like, can a civilization capture all of the energy on earth? Uh, we can't even, that's right. like what we're trying to figure out. Then stage two, can a civilization capture all of the energy coming out of their star? That's called right. a Dyson sphere or something. And then stage three is all of the energy in your uh, galaxy? Uh, probably. Whatever. That's, Basically, that's like, probably the next stage. 
Right. So basically, imagine a civilization that's a thousand years ahead of us, and they've captured all of the energy. They have infinite energy from their star. Where are they? Right. Right. You should, should be, be able to, to bounce around the universe because we're just, I mean, we've got AI now. So like, how, how long is it going to take till we can Dyson Sphere something and just bounce everywhere? Oh, so that's a leap. That's a leap. It's, it's a big leap. We've got but, um, AI now. So uh, next step, Dyson Sphere. But uh, 10,000 years ago, we were chewing on tree bark. So it's like we get really far really fast. Um, <laughs> you look like you were chewing on tree bark this weekend, Pop. Dude, I, I don't and like it. going in public anymore. Um, but that's fine, dude. I've had rashes on my, my chin straps just destroyed my life, really. Um, and my Korean barber. <laughs> you had a, that's a different episode. I don't know if we ever uh, recorded that episode. God. So... <laughs> So, <clears throat> um, we got to get through it. So, so we're basically like, where's the aliens? We got our ears up to the, to the universe, but we don't hear them. So, so they call this, uh, this guy Fermi. I don't Hold on. What was his first name? So, Come on. There's that funny thing, right? Like, you know this about teachers. It's like, how are your students going to be excited about something if you yourself aren't excited? <laughs> to hear you it's like an snl skit you come out and you're like under your breath we gotta get through this it's just like dude it's the inverse i don't i don't know <laughs> maybe i should have just let you talk this pod i do like this though i do like this uh i just i just i just no 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 come on terrible freight um, train freight dude, train you're on the track all steam ahead choo choo so okay <laughs> Uh, call it the Fermi paradox because, like, we're the aliens. There should be more aliens if, if there are so many Earths and it's we're a young Earth. Um, so now there are a couple options, right? One option is, hey, uh, fuck, what is the option? Um, there are no aliens, dude. <laughs> okay, so, so <laughs> option one is aliens do not exist. There's something so special about Earth, right? It was just the craziest black swan of all black swans. Life well, exists nowhere else. No, potentially. So so we could be special. So that's one option, right? We, we have like, um, there's no other life. Why is there no other life? Well, one option is like we're special. Like there's never been life and there's some, they call it the great filter. There's like something that happened where we, we broke through and... Uh, the like maybe filter. it's going from like the first sign of life. Like maybe there's no life in the universe because it's really hard to just create life in the first place. Um, or because that took us like a, uh, a billion years to do just to have one life form. Uh, or potentially the next step, which was going from, uh, they call it prokaryotic cells to eukaryotic cells. So basically like one, one cell absorbing another. one uh, Single cell to multi-cell. Yeah. So you have the little nucleus and it, it can like become... A complex organism um so that took two billion years so it's like probably one of those two leaps uh since it took so long maybe that's rare and just no one else can do it for some reason or it's like going from chimp to like human brain is just a hard sort of consciousness leap to do yeah like i i like imagining so the thing is called the great filter <clears throat> i like imagining it like um from water to land there's like a wall on the beach and like there's some great filter that doesn't let things evolve from water to land and then further down the line right so so there was some filter event at that point but maybe we got through it that's one option right maybe we got through it or maybe it's in front of us dude, how about that fuck dude oh my god how about it's, that? it's like the people that go to chuck e cheese and have to sing happy birthday <laughs> and don't want to be there at all um Happy, happy birthday. <clears throat> um, so the great filter is ahead of us. We haven't hit it yet. And there's something that maybe humans kill themselves off. Maybe uh, going from gamma rays to gamma, gamma rays, rays rip, dude. Gamma they, ray bursts. They, they'll burst right through you. Um, but probably just kill ourselves. That's that's probably one of the, the main culprits here. So those are some options. And basically, we don't really want to find life on other planets like we're like oh let's look for life on mars it'd be really bad news if we found life anywhere else because then it's like oh wait we're not that rare for life to actually be created especially if it's complex life we're like oh fuck we're not rare so something is happening 
uh, where it all dies. Ahead of us. There's probably a lot. Like if we found complex life on Mars, terrible news because it's like, oh, there's probably a shitload of complex life all over the universe because it, it happened twice in the same solar system. It's like, right. That's, we don't want to find life anywhere. That's going to be really scary. Um, so hopefully that's not the case. But that's, that's like a whole, hey, there are no aliens. Here's the reason why. Or there could be aliens. But for some reason, they're hiding. They're, they're somewhere out there. <laughs> Maybe um, they're too smart for us. They, they communicate in like uh, weird, like say they communicated over millennia. Like their, their communication system is just completely different than us. And time right. is we, just Right. We communicate different. over radio. They communicate with something else. Light right. or we electrons can't perceive or them. Um, maybe they're, they're just like we're in a really remote part of the universe, and like it's just like no one wants to hang out where we are because it's unimportant. Or they're observing us, or they're just like they're on some higher consciousness, and uh, we have no idea what the fuck's going on. It's like we're chimps to them, um, or they just don't give a fuck. Because like imagine you're. Uh, I think it, there's an example of like. Cortez, when he comes to the Americas or something, and he's like conquering the land, and he walks by an ant hill, he's not gonna like stop at the ant hill and like stomp it out or even care about. It. He's just gonna keep moving on, um, right? So, so like we probably just think we're more important than we are. If somebody's so, if a civilization is so far ahead of us, they're just like, oh, those are ants on Earth. Like we just, it's literally not worth our time to even deal with them. Yeah. They're just in their own, they're just hanging out in their own little world. So I don't, I don't know what the answer is. Oh, no one does. That's why it's a paradox. Wait, so that's the Fermi paradox. I don't get why it's bad if we find life. Um, because that means life isn't rare, and so that means the universe means the is filter, teeming life with life. And the the great filter is ahead of us. Um, well, just wait. Sorry, back to the just the foundation. Why does there have to be a great filter? Um, there doesn't have to be. We could just not perceive. Like, we don't know where the fuck all the aliens are. Right, so we're running with the Great Filter hypothesis because we haven't seen anything else. So it's like, one hypothesis is there's some Great Filter. That's one option. Uh, the second option is there is no Great Filter. They're just in a whole different part of the universe or something, or like we yeah. can't perceive them when they get that advanced. Um, but if basically the, the problem with finding life is, again, if there are that many Earths out there and it's suddenly like <clears throat> a thousand times more likely to have life on every one of them, the universe should be absolutely teeming with life. And uh, the fact that we don't see it means there's got to be some great filter somewhere where they're all dying. That'd be really bad if it was in like 30 years. The great filter? Yeah, we just we just get could be, dude. Out. Exponentials are nuts. Uh, so I don't know, dude. Nobody knows, but uh, so that's the resolution. Hey, we're just hanging out. 